checking on Money Matters this morning. Disney says it'll charge a lot less than Netflix for streaming. And a consumer alert, Target may be selling fidget spinners that contain dangerous amounts of lead. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with these stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. So two types of fidget spinners sold at Target could be dangerous. Uh, yes, Bruce and Jen, the items, the Fidget Wild Premium Spinner Brass and the Fidget Wild Premium Spinner Metal were found to contain as much as 330 times the federal legal limit for lead in children's products. That's according to lab tests that were conducted by the U.S. Uh, uh, for Public Interest Research Group. Now, the group is calling on Target to stop selling the items, issue recalls for the ones that they've already sold. Target says these aren't intended for kids. If you look at the box, it says 14 and older, but uh, still, uh, certainly concerning with that really high amount of lead there. Sounds like it. So Jane, Facebook wants to help small businesses with technology. How? It does. CEO Mark Zuckerberg says it will spend tens of millions on this new program. It is called Facebook Community Boost. It's a significant expansion of a smaller program that they uh, tested this year. About some 60,000 small businesses uh, were as part of that previous program. So they basically teach small businesses how to use Facebook, optimize it uh, to market your business. That program does launch next year. And the parent company of American Military University just celebrated 10 years on the NASDAQ. That's right. Here we are almost to Veterans Day. So the parent company, American Public Education, is celebrating this milestone. Now, they currently have about 100,000 students, 56% of whom reported they were on active duty in the military at their time of enrollment. APEI, that is uh, the parent company's uh, name. They provide affordable and flexible college degree programs for active duty military and veterans. And they do have one of the highest rates for job placement after graduation as well. Hmm. So, Jane, Disney is giving more details about its streaming service that launches next year? Yeah, that's right. You know, they're breaking away from Netflix and launching their own streaming service. So, Disney didn't say exactly how much it will cost, but did say it will be substantially less than Netflix. So, it's also going to develop a new Star Wars live action TV show, along with other properties for subscribers of that. One reason why this service will be cheaper, it won't have as much content as Netflix, at least in the beginning. All right, Jane. Thanks much, and have okay. a great weekend. Thank you.